How are we doing everyone? Sam here, United People's TV. The international break, thank fuck, is over. Manchester United back in action this weekend. We've got a trip to Vicarage Road. A stadium where Man United have had some pretty tasty affairs in the last couple of years. Remember that game last year, 3-0 up to 3-2 to 4-2. We had 3-1, I think, a while ago. We had a lot of 3-1 defeat there. Manchester United rarely have quiet games at Vicarage Road, and I don't expect this game on Saturday to be quiet either. Watford right now flying high, four wins from four. Somehow a club that has so much change is doing consistently so, so well. Javi Gracia really has got this Watford team playing extremely well. You know, Pereira's there on three goals. Holly Bass has got a goal and four assists. Troy Deeney up there with a couple of goals too. They're a powerful, well-drilled, clearly working team that is flying high under Gracia and three wins so far at home this season means that this is going to be a tough away day for Manchester United. And you see our games away from home, it's been a mixed, mixed bag. Brighton, atrocity. Burnley, brilliant. Complete control against Burnley, absolute chaos against Brighton. Which United team will show up? We're all hoping the same sort of team that played against Burnley. And I suppose it depends who's available. So what I want to do, as always, is run through my predicted start 11 for the game. And as you can see here, I am going for a 5-3-2. I think Manchester United play better in a 5-3-2 and I want to see Jose Mourinho using it more this season than a 4-3-3. Now in goal, David De Gea has come under some criticism because the start of the season so far, he hasn't been that good. I think he's got one of the lowest uh, save percentages in the Premier League. Shots that go against him right now, he's letting in. It's not what we've seen from De Gea over the last four or five years. Am I worried? Absolutely not. He'll turn it around. And once he really finds that form and gets the confidence back, He's going to be saving everything that goes at him. But I expect him to have a busy game. So fingers crossed that comes at Vicarage Road. Now, Luke Shaw is available to play in this game, Jose Mourinho said. But I would rather start Ashley Young. And uh, hear me out on this one. Luke Shaw has had a sensational start to the year. Of course, injury strikes for Luke Shaw in the England game. A concussion. But apparently he is available. But I personally just wouldn't risk him. I really wouldn't. You know, with this a long season ahead, we've got tons of games coming up in October because the Champions League is starting, we've got the League Cup starting, so we've got midweek fixtures coming up too. Lots of game time. For me, I wouldn't rush Luke Shaw straight back in. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But Ashley Young, last year at Watford, scored two blinding goals, free kick and a wonderful pile driver right into the bottom right-hand corner. I would start him here, not because I want to, but because I don't want to risk Shaw. I think... Resting him for this game, maybe for the young boys game, and bringing him back next weekend, I'd rather do that. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm going for Antonio Valencia right back. I was hoping we might have seen Diogo Delot, but he's going to play for the under-23s against Reading on Friday night. If he comes through that, Jose Mourinho said he's going to be ready and available to play for Manchester United. So fingers crossed we get to see him in action sooner rather than later. And I'm going for a back three centre-backs of Lindelof, Smalling and Bailly. Now Fellaini, we didn't really use a four... A 5-3-2 against Burnley as such on paper, but Fellaini operated in a midfield role that dropped deep into a, into a back three. But Fellaini is a doubt for this game. And I don't think Man Matic will operate in a similar sort of role. I think if Matic does play, he'll play more as a traditional defensive midfielder. Uh, and that's why I'm playing Smalling, Bayer and Lindelof. Just give three at the back. United's defence has been woefully shaky this season. We need to see some sort of consistency in the performances of the individual performances because that's where the errors have been made so far this season. So who would you play in defence? That would be my back five. Now for a midfield three, I've gone for Pogba, Matic and Lingard. Now Matic is going to be sitting deep with Pogba and Lingard just in front of him with Sanchez and Lukaku up front. Martial not in the team, played great against Watford last year in the first half, scored obviously, but I'm going to keep... Sanchez and Lukaku. I think it really, really worked against Burnley. And when things work, you don't change it. The international break does change things. It's been, what, 15 days or however long it's fucking been since we played Burnley. And things can change. But Lukaku was still scoring. Rashford is obviously suspended after getting sent off against Burnley. He got two and two for England in the international break. And Mourinho was in fine form with the press um, at the pre-match press conference. Just going in on basically saying the compulsive lies of the press that he doesn't use Rashford. So he's got more minutes than Lingard in the last two seasons. He played in Europa League finals. He's played in FA Cup finals. He's one of United's most used players, and he absolutely is, but he's banned for three games. So there's not even any much point in talking about Rashford, is there? But for that midfield three, so many questions are going to be asked about Paul Pogba. Back in the press this week for comments he said on international duty, 
And in amongst the United fans who were criticising his dancing celebrations after France, got nothing to do with the footballing performances, just decided to criticise Pogba and his decisions and whatever he wants to do. I'll put a video out on that. You, you know what I think about that situation. But Pogba's got to control this midfield. You've got a Matic who's going to be protecting the defence. You've got a Lingard who's going to be making space in the runs. But Pogba's the one that's got to create and craft. Fred, would, it, would you start Fred? I'm not sure if Fred's fit enough to start this game. But Ander Herrera's a doubt and Fellaini's a doubt. So Fred is probably available. Maybe you would put him in here. Let me know what you think in the comments. But for me, I keep saying it every time he plays. Jesse Lingard's movement makes the world of difference to Manchester United's attack. And I want to see the same sort of performance from Alexis Sanchez as I saw against Burnley. That is the Sanchez we need. Great assist for Lukaku's first goal. And his movement was great. But it wasn't just his movement. It was his decision-making, his link-up play with Luke Shaw, which obviously won't happen because, well, not in this team anyway, if Shaw doesn't play. But United need to take that confidence we got from the Burnley game and continue it and put a run of games together. It's early in the season. United haven't started the season very well at all. Liverpool flying high, City looking comfortable, Chelsea doing better than we all expected. But Liverpool playing Spurs this weekend, one of them is going to drop points. Man United need to use this as a platform. Watford away is a hard game. They've won four out of four. Just like Liverpool and Chelsea and City, they're at the top of the table right now. But we've got to try and stop and burst that bubble. Now, Watford are going to be fucking up for it. Deeney is a powerful, big centre forward. They're going to try and bully our defence, which has been shaky this season. That's why I'm backing it with a back three and Matic maybe to drop a little bit deeper to really squeeze the space out. But we need Paul Pogba to get those transitions out of defence and do it quickly. And we need Sanchez and Lukaku to both turn up and have a good game. Lukaku still in fine scoring form. Six goals in six games for club and country so far this season. Hopefully he'll make it nine in seven games with a hat-trick against Watford. But let me know what your starting 11 would be in the comments below. As always, if you're new to the channel, drop a like on the video and subscribe to United People's TV. Take it easy.